So, age, experience, height goes to red. Youth, enthusiasm, strength and power goes to blue. Konstantin Minin versus Alexei Denisenko, both of Russia. Start by both, but Minin is now taking it forwards against Denisenko. Minin looking for the counters, waits on the back leg, expecting Denisenko to attack. Can go against Denisenko and Minin from the referee who wants some activity is saying it is the 68 kilogram division this is where the action is supposed to happen so he wants some movement from these two Russians nice attempt by Minin to the body straight away Denisenko takes a headshot both missed neither score but signs of good things to come hopefully in 30 seconds, no points on the board, two Nakyongo each. Minin goes high, cuts the body. That's 10 seconds. Gerizenko definitely playing it cool. Interesting, uh, the two Russians competing against each other. I don't think they're necessarily holding back. I just think it's more a case that they are just being overly cautious. Sometimes you see countrymen not being truly competitive because it's their teammates and friends. But I don't think it's the, in this case, I just think they're both being cautious and would really like to win this match. seen the matches with Denisenko and Servet Tazigal, you know what he's capable of. A bit of mind games going on there, playing with his hair, delaying putting the head guard on. Now trying to disrupt the younger man. Minin then moving his arms around, very reminiscent of Albert Gorn. Much activity going on here. You know that means it's going to explode in the third round, so something to look forward to hopefully. Yeah! Minin now starting to step up his attacks. Denisinko unfazed.
I mean, he's not got to be careful now. He's really got to make sure that he doesn't do anything foolish that could and that could result in Denisenko punishing him. But right now, we've not seen anything of that. Minin tactically a very strong player, capable of doing last minute shots. I remember when I coached Jacob Barnett against him in the Dutch Open Championships in the quarterfinals. Barnett was ahead for most of the match. And then just in closing seconds, Minin stole a headshot. So credit to Minin for that, and uh, let's see if he can do the same against his mentor and role model, Alexei Denisenko. Last round, let's see if we have an explosion of activity. Russia versus Russia's. Russia. Konstantin Minin in blue, Alexei Denisenko in red. Final round. And the first point on the board goes to Minin. Surely Denisenko won't settle for that. Plenty of time, minute and a half. As Minin was taking the play, Denisenko just... Walking about. The potential power and technique of Denisenko is truly amazing, and it's just not. There's just no. We're just not seeing it, and it's frustrating for me. Is, uh, I'm sure it is for you guys because we all know what he's capable of doing. He's looking frustrated with himself. Starting to move with the force of Kyungo. Out of Minin. No, he doesn't. Minin moves around back to the centre, goes for the headshot. He's telling his coach to appeal for a headshot, which he's done. When I say headshot, obviously I mean a face kick. Now, was there a face kick in that exchange? Video review, judges, Just calling the technician, Thomas Bosser. the exchange I think where we were appealing for the kicks Thomas Bosser there just 
reeling to the best ant camera angle for the judges to see. They take a feed from four cameras. Sometimes it's more efficient for Thomas to actually uh, spool to the right area for them. So the St. Coast coach is appealing for a three-point face kick. to identify so it's probably looking at the feed from each camera our crew are looking for it as well if it was that one Minin definitely had his arm in the way still scrutinizing the activity I think partly the problem might be that there's a flurry of kicks none of them seem to go high so trying to identify a kick that would be a, a, a valid claim to be a headshot or a face shot found something and that is actually not the kick that we're looking for because that's Minin kicking towards Denisenko's face but I think it's a, as much as a valid claim as any kick just to remind you for the third time that we do not get the same images that the video review judge gets we don't get the same feed so what we're looking at often is very, very different from what the video review judge gets to see. It's taking quite a while. In my position, I think they're about to make a decision. Decision to be made and it's rejected. So 26 seconds left in the last round. Minute ahead by the narrowest of margins. Senko's coming back now, he wants to point his back. He's last, we've seen a little bit of what he's capable of doing. Minin's doing well to keep him away. Minin's coming back now. Denisenko will be trying to take him to the edge of the court as well as scoring. Dragged him back there, looking not to get a Kyongo. Seven seconds, Minin, can he hold on? Can he hold on? Can the young pretender hold on? No, Denisenko gets it! With three seconds left, Denisenko gets the point in the exchanges and we go to golden point. All the excitement happens in the last three seconds with Denisenko getting the point back. And we're going to golden point round. Incredible. There's a flurry of kicks. Denisenko, nothing to lose by that stage. This is from the earlier on in that round.
Golden point round. First one scores wins. Those Kyongos will be taken off, so they start with this clean slate. Kenesenko and Minin. This is the last of the bronze medal matches. Once this is concluded, we'll be starting with the finals. Minin comes in fast, tries to get in there with a double and a check. Off the front leg and takes it. He takes it. Konstantin Minin doesn't hesitate, gets in, and his aggression pays off, and he beats. The Olympic silver medal is countryman Alexei Denisenko and Konstantin Minin takes a bronze medal through Golden Point. Tremendous play, no hesitation, no delay, no fear, no respect for his senior, he just got in there and took that point. Well done to Konstantin Minin, a very, very well deserved bronze medal, bronze medal at this World Take Auto Grand Prix final. 23 ranked athlete